So we're here to celebrate the retirement of a wonderful man, husband, father, employee, and um, it's a celebration of a truly wonderful life. Let's all give Uncle Kong, I call him Uncle Kong, let's all give him a hand. So there's literally people here from all over the place. So for example, I come from New York. Let's hear it for New York. And I came with my lovely wife, Victoria. We also have people uh, from all over Southern California and beyond. We have uh, folks from Arkansas. Who's, who's the one from Arkansas? Arkansas, wave to Arkansas. Okay, we have folks from Arizona. Arizona. Alabama. Yes, Alabama. All the states with an A, apparently. What other states do we have represented here? We have Washington State, Seattle. Where's Nick? Seattle, yes, there. And, uh, and Mung Singh from Seattle as well. And we have folks from Canada, all the way from Canada. 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 <laughs> One gum and buntong tinakun. Okay, so we're going to start this off um, by welcoming some very important guests here to the stage. We have Bill and Maureen McClooney. Uh, Bill is the is the employer of Ken, <laughs> right? And uh, we're going to ask him to Bill if you would come to the stage and. Share with us a few words. <laughs> Georgia, we have Georgia here too. Where's Georgia? <laughs> Georgia. Good afternoon. I would like to, I'm very honored to be here with my wife, Maureen, and I'm representing my brother, Bob, <laughs> and we've worked with Ken for a long time, uh, with my dad, my brother, my sons, Brendan, and, and I'm sure you had, Michael was in there too, and Matthew. Ken is the finest man I've ever met. He is kind and puts up with us. <laughs> we would like, and I'm so impressed with the extended family. You are very honored by all these people here come to honor you. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, Maureen. I found out that, that Bill is is from four boys, just like I am. I'm the eldest of four boys, so that we're trading some stories there. That was fun. So maybe I'll say a few words as well. My name is Gerald. Gerald Young. As I said, I'm from New York, but I used to live here in California 15 years ago. I knew Uncle Kong through my wife, Victoria. When we lived here, we lived here between 1994 and 2001 for seven years. And during that time, I got to know Uncle Kong and his beautiful family very, very well. Uncle Kong is a man of courage. He went through a lot back in his home country. And uh, he's also a captain, so it's Captain Kong. <laughs> Let's hear it for the captain. So, as many people do, they ended up in this great country of ours. Uh, I think it was 1980 that he arrived with his family. And he, they settled originally in Temple City. So it was pretty quickly after that, I think, that he actually joined uh, Bill's company, Krieger Steel, 
Um, but Uncle Kong has told me stories about when they were first getting started, they had to take classes and get an education to learn the, the skills for the job. So they would, so both uh, Uncle Kong and Auntie Sai would uh, ride their bikes, bicycles to work uh, every day. And um, there was a lot of sacrifice, a lot of hard work, um, and I'm sure there was um, quite a bit of pain, but also hopefully some, uh, some humor in there as well from time to time to break up the monotony. They worked very, very hard to give their family a better opportunity than they had back in, in, in their old country. They have obviously two uh, beautiful daughters, Kong Mani and Kong Nakon. Let's hear it for them. And uh, they have, their husbands are here as well. Um, David and Keynes, very, very lucky guys. And of course, uh, they have their five beautiful grandchildren. So let's hear it for all the grandchildren. Wave, come on up to the, come on up here. So Uncle Kong, to me, he epitomizes the American dream. He came here as an immigrant like many of us did, but he didn't take no for an answer. He had a dream to get a better life for his family and for himself. And no nothing would stop him from that. He would never take no for an answer. There's a lot of hard work. There's a lot of sacrifice. Um, and there was a lot of pain involved over the years. But you look around here, literally this garden was not here when they first bought the house. He literally built this with his own hands. Let's hear it for the marvelous handiwork. You know, during, his, during his free time, when, when there was free time <laughs> outside of the office, he would do a lot of things uh, with his hands around the house and try to beautify things. Everything that's here that you see is uh, largely the work, you know, blood, sweat, and tears from Uncle Kong here. So let's give him another round of applause. So I am just very impressed. I think this is a wonderful celebration. At the end of 32 years with Krieger Steel, Uncle Kong is finally retiring. He has much to be proud of. He has uh, worked very, very hard to have a, a wonderful life of his dreams, to have success, to have um, success for himself, for his wife, for his children, for his daughters, for his extended family, his grandchildren. So, Uncle Kong, I hope you enjoy your retirement. I hope uh, God blesses you with many, many more years. And uh, I hope that you continue to expand this garden and to make it even, even more beautiful in the, this house that you have here. Congratulations, Uncle Kong. Okay, we're going to have a few words as well from um, Uncle Kong's eldest daughter, Kong Mani. She's going to come here. Let's hear it for Kong Mani. Good evening, everyone. Um, thank you for coming to today's um, celebration of my um, dad. So I know you've traveled um, from very far. Some, as Gerald was saying, some have come from Canada and New York. So I really appreciate that you've taken the time out of your busy schedule on this very hot day to come and celebrate our um, dad. Um, my dad, I'm so proud of him for um, setting such a good example for us, my sister and I, and um, his grandkids. Um, he's made a lot of sacrifices for us, and we've really appreciated, and we want to be able to celebrate him today because he's done so much for us and for everyone, and so we want to show how much we appreciate him. We appreciate his hard work. Um, I remember when he, when we were just getting started, how um, hardworking he was. Um, 
working nights as a security guard at Arcadia Methodist while trying to go to school. And I remember stories he told me about how he'd ride home at night and, um, you know, on the bicycle and um, people would be throwing lemons at him or, you know, but like Gerald said, he never took no for an answer and he persevered. Um, through hard times. We had difficult times and I'm so proud of my dad. Um, I remember um, just when we were getting started and he wanted to, you know, make extra cash, we would go on weekends. He would round up my sister and I and two little girls. I think we were like eight and six um, at Mr. Cole's house while he was gardening, pulling weeds. We were beside him and we recognize what hard work he did and we so appreciate all that he's done for us and, and I can't be any prouder of my dad. He's set a good example for us and so we just want to celebrate you today. So thank you so much for all of you that you've done and that you will continue to do. And, um, and we want to also thank you, Mr. Clooney, so much for giving my dad the opportunity for taking a chance on him 32 years ago. Um, thank you so much for um, making our journey possible and allowing us to live the American dream with hard work and perseverance for my dad. So thank you so much. Thank you. And also, I would like to say thank you to everyone who's here because I know some way or another you were part of our journey and um, with the friends and my uncles and aunts. Um, without you and your love and support, we wouldn't be here today. So I just want to say thank you to everyone um, for coming and for celebrating with us today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Komeni. All right, well, the moment that everybody's been waiting for, food, dinner is served. And uh, make sure Tony's not lonely over there. The bar is open. Please enjoy, bon appetit.